Hi, this is Dr. Hayek and in today's video we will be talking about stereoisomerism energy. Now if you consider the example methyl cyclohexane, we can draw two chair conformations for methyl cyclohexane where we can place the methyl group on an axial position in one conformation and or on an equatorial position for a chair conformation. Now the existence of this molecule would be under 95% for conformation 2 and 5% only for conformation 1. This is due to the instability of conformation 1 because of the steric strain between the CH3 and the two hydrogens on the down carbons as you can see it in this example in here. So this is be called the steric strain. This strain does not exist in conformation 2 because the CH3 group is in the roomier equatorial position as you can see it in here. Therefore which stereoisomer is more stable, cis or trans? If we consider the example of 1,2-dimethyl cyclohexane where for cis conformation we can draw the CH3 groups one on an axial and another on equatorial however for trans conformation we can draw the two CH3 groups on both of them on equatorial bonds. Therefore in this case the trans will be more stable than cis because both CH3 groups are on equatorial bonds however here we have one on, CH one on equatorial and one on axial and this axial here will have a steric strain with the two hydrogens that are facing up on these two up carbons. However, the question now is trans always more stable than cis? For that, we will consider the example of 1,3-dimethyl cyclohexane. In the case of 1,3-dimethyl cyclohexane, for cis conformation, we can draw both CH3 groups on equatorial bonds since both equatorial bonds on the 1 and 3 positions are facing down so therefore this is the cis conformation however for trans conformation for the 1 and 3 positions if we place CH3 group on 1 equatorial the second has to be facing the opposite side and therefore it has to be on an axial and in this case cis will be more stable. So to answer the question whether cis or trans is more stable on a chair conformation you have to consider the position of the substituents 1, 2, it would be different than 1,3. Now for the 1,4 dimethyl cyclohexane it will be similar to the 1,2 dimethyl cyclohexane. 